Hello everybody and welcome back to my time at Porsche where at the moment we're being a bit cheesy and uh, we're just waiting to hand in that middle section of the bridge. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Sorry, my mouth got caught in my headphones then. Sorry, I hope no one's uh, travel sick there. Uh, yeah, so we basically did that. We kept it. We kept the commission, um, didn't hand it in so that we would have time to upgrade the workshop and make sure that next time we're not going to get caught unprepared by Higgins's antics. Did we need two industrial cores for one furnace? We do. We do. So I need to make two more. Oh, that resin. I don't mind. I can make one. What are we short on? We need one extra resin. Right, okay. I'm not going to do that now then. I'm going to go and chop down a tree. And then we will have the extra resin. How are we doing? Six days, nicely fertilised. Need to fertilise my apricot trees. Where have all the big trees gone? Chopped them all down. That one didn't have any. Okay. Fine. See if I care. I do actually care quite a lot because I really needed that resin <laughs> for my furnace. Urgh. Yay, one resin. That was all we needed. Okay, so two industrial cores. I'm going to need to collect more resin though, definitely. Oh my goodness me. We'll have to go around doing it on a massive tree chopping expedition before... Because um, we're going to need resin for like steel beams and stuff. I want more metal storages. I want. I don't want to be like stuck in a situation where I'm looking through loads of different chests and wasting time when it comes to crunch time, you know. I want to have plenty of furnaces ready to make my stuff. I want to have the stuff all ready to hand, all nicely organised. I want to have lots of that, um, what's it called? Powder, uh, I don't know what it's called. Powder stuff. No, that won't even fit in there. Hmm, I think my phone died. So, it will fit about there. Right, so what we're going to do... Chop all these down. And we're going to start again. So we'll at least get all the stuff back out of it. I want to be able to have them all in a nice big row so let's see how this one will fit into the corner will we go any further into the corner no i don't think it will no if you try to put it in the corner like that it won't i think that is the closest i can get and then butt this one up next to it as much as i can Put this one up next to that one. Come on. Then... I'm thinking I'm actually going to go from the corner with these ones as well. So these ones will go right into the corner. And there we are. That's all of my massive furnaces. So I'm going to need to refuel them all and tell them all to keep making that carbon steel. Hmm. Short on charcoal, apparently. Really? They must have all been making, like, small amounts. Okay. Do I need more wood, then? Make me charcoal. There's no way I'm going to not have enough of these bars. Tell you that, because they're the longest thing to make out of all of it. 
I mean, it might throw me a curveball and tell me that I need something particular that I haven't prepared for, but I'm hoping not. Let's see if I can make some more bronze in these ones as well, because I picked up a whole bunch of uh, tin while I was chopping those rocks. Fill that one, craft me another five. And craft me another seven and then I'm out of tin. And that one's got some in, but it needs the fuel refueled. That'll do for a bit. I know there's a couple not being used right now, but that's fine. So we get the charcoal made, then we'll be able to start making more. Now let's see how much iron we have left, because I have been... Yeah, 86. That's not great. Okay, so let's see how much bronze we have now. Five. That's not very much, is it? I'm going to stick it on here and make bronze plates. As many as I can. Now, I think someone said I had some in a chest. If I do, then I'll make another big chest out of them. I've got one. I've got one being made. Just I'll check around everywhere as well. Not a lot in there at the moment. Keep all that on me, um, all the bars and stuff. In fact, I'll put everything away. Why not put everything away where it should be? Right. Um, do you know what I really need to do? Move that farming chest. Well, actually, the farming chest isn't so bad, but the, the wood chest needs to move. And I think, as I say, I need I want the chests alongside my assembly table. I think that'd be a really nice idea. So I'm going to go grab... Uh, I had a spare chest in here somewhere. I'm sure I did. Oh, they're right here, actually. I've got two spare chests. Just double check that I don't have uh, any other stuff in here that would be useful, like bronze bars. No, I don't. That's fine. Okay, so I'm going to take this chest. I'm going to put it right... Oh, of course. I can't have it right by my assembly station because that would be too convenient to butt it up against things. So basically, it'd be like this. Except with large storages. Do you think? Do you guys think that looks nice, or do you think that looks that looks like in the middle of nowhere, doesn't it? It just looks like it's an afterthought. So I'm gonna not do that. That was a really good idea, except that you can't really butt them up as much as I thought you could. So I just tuck them around the place. So that one can be for metal and gems, maybe. Can I pop one in there? No. I'll pop one here, which could maybe be for wood or something. So I'll have a wood one and a metal one. They're kind of facing each other. That's quite nice. So you're going to be for wood. I need to make them brightly coloured, I think. Really brightly coloured. So I'll make this one like yellow and we'll make it for wood. For wood. And then we'll make this one bright red or something, and we'll make it for metal. Or bright purple. But something really stands out. Nah, it still doesn't stand out enough. Red. Nah, white. Stands out quite a lot, I think. Yeah, we'll keep it white. Metal and gems. I can move the metal and gem chest over there then. But first I'm going to move the wood chest. Because it's so annoying. So much tree sap. I almost just sell it, but I don't think I will. Okay, so we can pick that one up now. 
And someone said I needed like a, a chest inside my house and that would be for things like that random balloon and the animal skeletons that I never use and stuff like that. Well, that might be a good idea. Another bronze plate done. Metal and gems I don't think needs to be a huge chest quite yet. But I think it's going to possibly need to be at some point. Put all those in there for now. That's metal. Get all these out of my hotbar because when things go on my hotbar I lose them. A whole bunch of stuff to go in my wood chest over here. I think I do need a stone and sand chest as well. Just not entirely sure where I'm going to put it quite yet. Maybe put it over here. Just dot them around the place. So this one's for stone and sand. very well labelled at least. So so the wood and stuff like that is going to be close to the furnaces and the metal and jams will be close to the furnaces which is what I want. The stone and sand I'm going to have over here even though maybe it should be closer to the furnaces I'm not sure but possibly on the other side then I'll have the mechanical parts chest. Let's get this metal and gems one moved properly. This is all the stuff I would never be doing all of this if I didn't have the time, you know? If I was rushing around trying to beat Higgins, then I would never have time to do all this sort of thing. And that should really be in mechanical parts, actually. I should that. I should that. I try to keep this quite clean, this chest. The stone and sand now has its own place, which is over here, which is fantastic. Soil shouldn't be in there. Okay, got some farming stuff that needs to go in the farming chest. The farming chest needs to be upgraded to be um, a lot bigger. And I think it needs to be moved somewhere else. I'm almost kind of thinking by these um, skyvers. Let's see if I can move this chest somewhere where... I'll just pick it up and then I'll put it somewhere where I think it might be good. You know what? There. I think that would be a good place for my farming chest. Turquoise. It matches the Skyvers. So then mechanical parts... Mm, okay, yeah, I could try and move it. I think I have enough inventory space just about for all of this. two big chests and one is the food chest and one is the mechanical parts chest but what I might end up doing is having um maybe I think wood would be kept separate but maybe have my metal and my stone and sand all in the same chest like a much bigger one where did the chest go big metal storage I'm gonna go to this side of the workbench and I'm gonna color it uh yellow or something and that will be mechanical parts. Lovely, so we'll get all this stuff back in there. Sorry this has been another organise-y kind of episode, but hopefully... Shouldn't be too bad. So there's all my mechanically stuff back in there and power stones as well and I think the rest of this stuff needs to go in farming except the marble needs to go in stone and sand and coriander needs to go in food actually coriander um Food. 
Farming. The reason farming is there and not like tucked away against the fence is that I do want to expand the uh, large planters. I could have two farming chests. I could uh, put them, I could mix them up into seeds and fertilizer and produce or something like that. We'll see. But at least I have the room now to make that decision. I might need a whole like chest on its own just for seeds. Research notes. Oh, that just needs to be in a dump chest. Right, okay, so we're done. We're done with all the organising. Great. And how much better does that look? All my trees over there. Some kind of junk over there, but it's... I don't know. It doesn't look great, does it? I like this area. I like what I've done with this area. I think it's really cool. I think things like the drying rack and the grill and all the foody stuff, it's kind of looking a bit out of place at the moment. Just shoved down the side there. I'm not sure I like it so much. I almost think that that would be a nice place just to put a whole t a whole big row of chests along there. But then I am going to be doing, like, whatever I do, I'm going to end up running back and forward. You know, so that definitely needs to be a bigger chest or a uh, more or a more organised one into two separate uh, different categories. I think. Hmm. Okay, so we're half past seven already. I haven't even taken a commission today. I'm pretty sure, or, or did I? I can't remember. Well, it'll tell me if I can't take it. I think if I can get in there before 8 o'clock, I can get any commissions. I might not be able to do it. I might just make it. Yeah. Three minutes to go. That was pretty good. So I'm just going to double check that I have taken commissions today. Oh, wow. Well, there's level A one. Apricots. Warm clothes. And a water engine. Oh, wow. I can totes make a water engine. Well, that'll be the that'll be next uh, the next day's task then, won't it, guys? It'll be making a big old water engine. These are really good commissions. They're really like nice money for them. And I need to build my money back up. We look at what we need for a water engine. I just took it. I was like, we we could, we don't have time to check what is actually involved in this, but I think it's stuff I probably got. And the EXP on it's amazing as well. Uh, five old parts, two bearings from Tin Aloe. I've got some of that. I've got two small engines. I've probably even got four steel plates somewhere. Steel plate, engine, bearing, and old parts. That's really not too bad. Okay, so let's have a look at what we need for bearings. It was Tin, tin Alloy, wasn't it? So, go to my metal chest. I should be able to get some Tin Alloy. I just have to remember where things are. I have eight tin alloy. Crazily. So it was bearing, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, do you make bearings on a grinder? I think you might do. Hang on. Yes, you do. Oh no, I have no power stones. Let's go grab them. It's one of these things that wherever you put something, you're going to have to do a bit of running around. I try not to, if I can help it. I need two small engines. Um, I need... Old parts. And I need a 
power stones. Cool. So the grinder to make the bearings. This is a lot of money for a very small amount of work. These these commissions, I am very happy with these. <laughs> I feel like the hard work is finally kind of paying off. Right, so while I'm here, over here, I'll stick the engines and the old parts on. Engine, old parts, and then we're just waiting for bearings, I think, unless there's something else. Oh, four steel plates. Do we have any spare steel plates? Nope, but we've got plenty of carbon steel bars. We also have a load of these that are not doing anything. How dare they? Let's grab any... We've only got 48 wood left. Okay, need to work on that then, but at least one of these can get going. Oh, in fact, I can refuel each of them with like 10 or something. Do 15 in there, and then like 15 in there. And the rest in there. And then pick up all the charcoal and then find what iron we've got left. Which isn't very much, I don't think. I've been going through these carbon steel bars like nothing on earth as well. We're down on the fuel on those as well. what I can. We'll make them in the fast furnaces as much as we can. Okay. Right, so with the carbon steel bars we have, we're going to make some steel plates. I will again make ten, because why not? And then in the morning we'll have this done. Which will be so much money for us. We've still got 2,000, which isn't too bad. So, check status. Six days. Because it's got no fertiliser. Five days with that one. So I think they're fully grown, but I think... Oh look, you can see the crystals growing on it! How pretty! That's going to be so nice looking. Okay, I think it's bedtime. And I think in the morning we're going to have to go on a big old uh, trek for iron. But we've done really well there because we nearly missed out on that commission. And that I think it's the, the most expensive commission we've had so far. I wonder if it's because our workshop is kind of approaching an A grade now. In fact, it's got to be close, hasn't it? Oh, yes! We just tipped over to a workshop level A. That will be why we're getting amazing commissions all of a sudden. Okay, let's have a look at the fuel depleted, really. Really? I was hoping to have that done. I never checked the fuel. It's my own fault. It's my own silly, silly fault. So that is going to take 23 hours. So we're not going to have that money today. Well, it's going to take 23 hours to 10, so I might have it right by the end of the day, because we've only just done it at the beginning of the day there. I'm going to put on some bronze plates to be made. And that is basically so I can make uh, more big storage chests, which is going to be really useful. And I'm going to have a look around in kit, just in case I had steel plates that I had forgotten about. You never know when you're going to forget about your steel plates. I'm also going to put back all the stuff, not that stuff though, but all the stuff in the back chests. Might keep my fishing rod on me from now on as well. I think I've done a really good job of keeping these chests tidy. 
gonna put those water tanks into this one because they just don't really have a place that they belong. The same with the golden ring. Same with that little flower pot. So this is a true miscellaneous chest really now. I'll sort that out. Let me... I'm gonna need the charcoal. I will need to go get more iron out of the mines as well. The caterpillars will have to stay with me until I can upgrade the farming chest. That'll probably be the first one because it's the one that really needs doing the most. Right, so in this chest we want to put the bricks. And that's about it. The food chest will be for flour. Tea, flour. And that'll do. With chest, we need to put that tree sap in, those, those planks in as well. Metal chest. Copper, bronze, carbon steel. I had 400 stone that I didn't put in the stone chest. We'll just hop back over here. That's done. Every time I say, like, oh yeah, I'm done with sorting out my chest. Hooray! It's like, yeah, I've got to do it again now. Sorry, guys. Well, that'll do for now. I'm going to head to the mines and get some more iron because we're... I just want carbon steel bars being made like every two seconds if I can and then I also kind of want uh, loads of bronze, loads of uh, bronze being made too. We don't need as much iron and copper generally but if I need iron I'll make that to order. My carbon steel seems to be like a massive thing. So we may as well because we've got to wait for this, uh, these steel bars to, steel plates to be made anyway. Yeah, I'm looking forward to all these these nice new commissions, these nice tasty commissions we're going to be getting now. Yum yum. Yeah, let's have a new area as well. No, I don't want to pay 300 golds for a weekly pass. That sucks. Hi Sam, how you doing? Yo kid, looking good. Be careful in the ruins. Don't expect me to save your butt every time, okay? Okay. Still weird compression on their voices. You notice how they've got really weird voices at the moment. They've got kind of a hiss to them. I had to spend a long time... The thing is with um, voice actresses and actors from the kind of community or... I don't know if they've paid professionals or whatever, but the voice setups are never that easy to do. You have to do a lot of things like... Um, I My voice gets... It gets compressed, it gets um, equalised, it gets, um, what else does it get? It gets vocally enhanced and uh, noise reduced, all before you even hear me. Just because, and that's not just not because my voice needs the help or anything like that, well some of you might think that, but it's because when you're recording, it may, it's so difficult to get your voice actually sounding like you think your voice is. And not like in, in your head, but even because it sounds different in your head as well, but there's all sorts of artifacts and things when you're recording that makes it sound not like you. And the only person that can really tell you is someone else listening to you speak and then somebody else saying, well, does that sound like you on the recording? But, you know, I know that I certainly don't, um, when I talk, there's not a weird hiss in the background. <laughs> Put it that way. So that's not going to sound right, is it? Oh, this is a great iron vein. This is amazing. Getting so much from this. So I'll get like um, maybe 300 odd. And then I'll go back. And then I'll pop up to the tree farm and see if they've got any more wood for me. And then I may need to cut down some more trees again. I might even need to go somewhere like the hazardous... Um, Sorry, the collapsed wasteland. Just to get more more trees. And start running out. 
I don't care though. We've got like so many carbon steel bars now. And I have the, the capacity to make about 40 a day at this point. And we have about 10 days to go, I think. Let me check. This is something we need to keep an eye out on. Eight days. We've got eight days to go and I can make 40 bars a day. I'm going to need to go into the ruins as well and make sure I've got tempering liquid uh, stockpiled. So that's something else we could do today. We could take a little trip to the ruins and see if we can beat that chemical boss. Chemical dropout boss. Okay, so it's Tuesday, so it's the, the midweek Temple of Light showdown. I don't know why I decided to do a little forward roll there. I was just getting fancy, I think. So I picked up a ton of uh, charcoal, so I should be able to make sure that all of the furnaces are at least working on some carbon steel bars at the moment. In fact, I can make 50 at once. I think some of them take slightly more than a day, but some of them take slightly less, so that's pretty cool. Right, so we're out of charcoal again. And I don't think I have the means to make any more. Let's see in the wood chest. No, I don't. So... I'm going to need to do is pop to the tree farm and make sure the charcoal's going. So basically it's constant charcoal production in these small furnaces um, working against the, the large furnaces making the carbon steel bars and it's actually balancing pretty well I think. But yes, any wood that they can give me up here would be very much appreciated and then I'm going to have to get my own. I don't know if I'm allowed to chop the trees in here. Am I allowed to chop them? No one seems to be complaining, so I think so. Got 200 wood. But yeah, it doesn't seem to be any problem with me chopping trees down. I don't think it allows you to chop fruit trees, but I could chop a few around the entrance here. There's plenty. Yeah, you can't chop fruit trees. Good to know. The trees in here are massive. I kind of thought that the trees in here might be a bit protected, but if they're not, hey. Free trees for Shilab. The life here in Porsche is so cozy. Fill it with your heart. I'm pretty sure you'll love it. I do, that's why I keep coming back for like 75 episodes now. Gonna run out of stamina. But at least I have plenty of wood now. How much have I got? 290, so I've got an extra like 100 wood from, well nearly 100 wood, just from chopping a couple of trees as well. So I'll come up here, I'll chop some trees and I'll pick up wood until I can afford to upgrade the amount that I'm getting. Problem, I, I worry that I'll spend 10,000 on that and then I'll run out of, um, then I won't bother going up there for it and I'll run out of space because I think there's only a certain amount of space it has to, to store the wood. You get up to 300 odd and then you have to start again. Now I'm sure I had fertilizer somewhere. Be in this chest here, which is a good place for it to be. Fertilize them in a minute actually. I'll do the charcoal first, it's important. And we've got fuel depleted as well. Oh, nightmare. Yeah, that one's fuel depleted as well. So by the time I fuel two of those furnaces, it's like that's like my 200 wood almost gone. I can see there's a lot of fuel needing to be um, done on these charcoal things as well. And that's me out of wood. Yay! I think fuel depleted on that one. I can fuel it with one piece of wood. 
That's really bad. I'm actually gonna have to chop more trees around my place, my uh, farm as well. Not enough stamina. Oh no! Don't tell me I'm gonna have to make apple slices just for that. Okay, so I've got my steel plates. Uh, is that enough steel plates? I don't can't quite remember how many I needed. Was it five? No, it was four and two bearings. Are my bearings done? Yes. Wow. Okay, I can hand that in now. Fantastic. Steel plates. Two bearings. That is a lot of money's worth of water engine. And I think that's going to go to Anton again, I'm pretty sure. So you need to get that in there before he closes at 8 o'clock. One thing I really like about Porsche is it does tell you what times everything's open. And it, it tells you if there's a reason you can't get in somewhere. You know, it's, it is a good game in that respect. That was fast, such an efficient builder. 3,610 rep points. A grade. So, the water engine again. Rainbow flowers, which I do not have. Bombs. Well, really, I want to take the water engine one, don't I? I'll take bombs when it's something I... I really can't help but take, you know, if I've got something like a water engine, why would I take bombs? But it does mean I've got a lot to do again. And then look at my money going up so fast. And I'm going to need it because my next expansion to my workshop is like crazy money. Okay, so these are working well now. Um... I think I might need to end the episode there, but tomorrow's episode is going to literally be me trying to get wood. So actually what I might do is um, skip a, a day for you guys and do a wood chopping day. So that I actually have lots of wood for you guys to check out. And then the day after that, I will do the water engine. So I need old parts. I need that tin alloy from lead, oil, lead and tin. So I'm going to need to make tin alloy again. That's fine. I've got the carbon steel bars to make the steel plates. Steel plates are actually being made already, I think. Yeah, I'm making 10, so those are already on the go. So I'll um, I'll try and get some of the stuff ready to make the water engine, and then we'll get another water engine made. And I'll, as I say, get loads and loads of trees chopped down, so you guys don't have to watch me chop trees for a whole day. But anyway, I think I'm going to head back to bed now, and that'll be the end of the episode for today. So I hope you don't mind these uh, episodes where getting an a grade on my on my workshop though how amazing is that i don't know what happens when you get to the top of level a though maybe you get a plus a plus 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 because i'm already like getting experience points like so many experience points per one it's like um this one i've got here 300 experience points and it's giving you 14 days to do it, but I can do it probably in, a, in two. So it's pretty good. And the Porsche Bridge actually looks like a really bad commission compared to the ones I'm getting, but never mind. So you get 900 EXP though. So that's almost like a tenth of the way through my level A. But I don't know what happens when I get to the top of level A, so we'll have to see what happens there in a few episodes time because it probably won't take me long at the, the rate I'm going. But anyway, that is it for the episode today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please do leave me a like below. If you'd like to see more Porsche, then please do subscribe. I'll let you know when the videos are out. I hope to see you next time. In the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.